What is going on? This is Hector here with Vaping Lizards, and today we have another box mod review. This one's a 150 box temperature control, the Cuboid. So as always, we're going to go down close, <clears throat> check the box out, talk about some of the specs, how the box looks, and all that stuff. Come up top, vape it with two different devices. I got a... Um, alien wire build in here and then I have a nickel with my tank so we'll wait both of those and see how it works so let's go down let's go down now close and check the box out a little bit closer all right guys this is the box it comes in standard normal box like any device does you got the picture of the RDA there I mean the the mod uh, the wattage the name of it same thing same thing on the side over here cuboid 150 by Joytech website and their logo we turn it over and we open this box up right here is where your mod will be sitting at but I have it over here it's not lost it's not gone you pull this part out and you're gonna have your warranty card right there you're gonna have your user's manual it's pretty big but it's really helpful, like I always say, user ma user's manuals are your friends. And then you get your USB cable that comes in here. USB cable. But now let's get into the meat and potatoes and check out the box itself. So here's the box, guys. This box is 91 millimeters here, this way, 42 millimeters this way, and 28 millimeters on this side. This box uh, is operatable, as operable firmware. There's an upgrade apparently uh, 3.1 or 3.2 or something like that to go to 200, but uh, even Joytech themselves, they say it's a little hard to push 200 watts with 218 50s and whatnot. But let's not, let's, let's, not, let's not get into that. You know, you can upgrade it to 200 if you want to, but they don't market it as that. Um, the box is a... Uh, I don't know the material of the box, but it feels really nice and solid. It's a little bit heavy when with two batteries. It's, it's nice. It's, it's it's heavy, but not like crazy heavy. I, I like how it feels and how it is. Um, you got your locking hinges battery uh, right here with the switch. You have to like pull this little tab back and it opens up and your batteries are in there. Then you have to like pull it back, push it in, and it should sit there locked up. Your device turns on. Over here we have stainless steel threads in there and a gold plated uh, pin right there. It's it's spring loaded but not crazy. You know, like not super crazy spring loaded. It's just kinda like it's there. It's not like a Segeli one uh, 150 watt TC spring loaded, it's a little bit different, but it's still spring loaded. And your screen right here, you're gonna have all your all your stuff. You got all your uh, you gonna have your power or whatever, whatever sort of, whatever sort of option you're running it at. You're gonna have your watts or your degrees if you're running on temperature. You got your volts, the ohm of your coils, the amps, and the battery gauges. And as you can see, you got two, so it tells you individually each battery's uh, life. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Let's put up on here my Arctic tank with a nickel build in there. Let's, uh, let's uh, lock it up real quick. To be able to lock, uh, let's actually go through the settings and I'll tell you how to lock. To go through the settings, you hit one, two, three. It's gonna start flashing on the top for the power. You hit the um, right key right here, which is the wattage up, and it'll take you through temp uh, temperature nickel, temperature titanium, stainless steel 316, and then TCR mode. And I'm not gonna get in the, the, into the TCR mode. You guys can uh, research it if you want. We're just gonna go through the basics. So we'll put it on nickel, and if you want to go down to the power and all that stuff, you hit the wattage down, the left one, and it'll bring you down. I want to keep it at 40 watts. Uh, the ohms are locked, but if you want to lock them and unlock them, you hit the wattage up. That's not locked right there. You can see the ohm symbol, and then if you lock it, it gives you a locking symbol right there next to the number. And then go down to the amps, and then back up top again. Once you want it, just hit the fire button. And to mess around with the watt, uh, Temperature obviously down and up. 
pretty simple and self-explanatory. Let's keep it at 470, at 40 watts. Um, to turn this device off, you hit one, two, three, four, five, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. To lock the device, wattage up, wattage down together. It's locked. Can't fire. Oh, you could fire, huh? That is weird. <clears throat> Let's see this again. Well, uh, at least on this piece of device, the locking is not okay. I don't know. There must be some sort of issue, but let's keep moving on. So you lock your device right here. It says key locked. You hit it again. Key unlocked. So you're set. The box itself, like I said earlier, feels a little bit heavy, but it's a nice little box. I mean, I like how it feels. Me, and I have, a, I'm a guy, I don't have the big, biggest hands in the, <laughs> out there, but it feels nice in my hand. Um, you know, I, I don't have much bad things to say about it. You know, it just, it's a little heavy, but hey, whatever. But anyways, this box, like I said, it goes from one, uh, it goes from one to, 150 watts you can, all the way go, you can go all the way down to 1 1.1 and then you can go all the way up to 150 well something's weird it's happening it's not letting me go further that is really weird it's a hundred and 137.5, I don't know why that's happening, but I don't use that much wattage anyway. I don't know, there must be something, I'll look into it later. But, moving on. Oh, Let's go into the temperature. It goes all the way to 600, down to 200, and you hit it again, back and then round robins to uh, Celsius. Same thing, let's keep it where we had it. Set that, and the same thing applies for all the other ones too as well. And uh, for the regular power, it goes from, it will read uh, ohms from 0.1 all the way to 3.5. For temperature, it will read coils from 0.05, kind of like your just your usual normal uh, TC from 0 0.05 to 1.5. And then again, like I said, <clears throat> it does nickel, titanium, stainless steel, and it has a TCR mode, which I'm not really familiar with it, so we're not gonna touch bases on that. But let us say, let's go out top ape this and, uh, and, and try it with both RDA, uh, both atomizers on it and see how it performs. So right now here we I have, uh, let's head the uh, nickel coil. I'm running this at 470 degrees Fahrenheit, 40, 40 watts for power. Let's see how it vapes. Runs really good. Probably one of my favorite devices, how, how it runs. One of my favorite TC devices so far. I have used this for a few days. And I really like how it performs. I love the battery life. I mean, you see this right here? That's the battery I have had. Uh, I'm, I have fresh batteries in there. And this is how far down it is. And I've been using it today. It's uh, it's like almost nine, 9 in the morning. And I've been using it since like 7.40 when, you know, when I was getting ready to go to work. And then I had it on here, the battery, since like 3 o'clock p.m. yesterday. And it's still not halfway. And I've been using it all day with those batteries. Uh, all the time so that's good um, performs well reads well the power actually works I know a lot of uh, devices that don't use the jewels it's a little yeah, funky with the device but let's put the uh, RDA in here and see how it performs so we got the uh, authentic support here I am vaping on a new juice that one of my partners just created they created three liquids and it's gonna I'm gonna do a review soon on it 
and it's supposed to be all snow cone kind of line so that's coming out soon really cool I'm vaping on that coastal chills like a lemon lime I don't know uh, raspberry something like that I don't know the full flavor profile of uh, you you know for the next review vaping it <clears throat> I have an alien build in here reading a 0.24 a 75 watts excellent excellent besides the flavor being amazing um, the juice performs well 75 watts is pushing right amount of power there's some boxes out there that you put it on certain wattages and they they vape different this thing is right on the dot man I like this box really recommend this box to anybody that's trying to get something <clears throat> for a decent price um, I, I, I don't have anything else to say besides it's a really 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 good box I mean I'm really impressed when I seen it I was kind of like ah, another joy tech you know, some joysticks are good, some joysticks are not. And I was like, oh, this looks like an FE1, but hey, it impressed me. It shut my mouth, you know. It really uh, it really impressed me how it performs, to be honest. So I'm going to go into the pros and cons now and talk about that a little further. To be honest, the only, 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 only con I come up with this is the uh, how the, the pin is, the gold-plated pin. If you have like a, an RDA that have it as a, a connection that sticks out a lot, it, it might not sit all the way flush because it doesn't push the pin doesn't push all the way down like really far down So if you have something that has a pin that per, like goes protrudes a lot and it goes down for a uh, far It's gonna be a little iffy. It's gonna sit a little bit, you know, like kind of like in the midair Besides that that's literally the only con for pros upgradable firmware big plus The battery gauges how it's like has like two of them two battery gauges like that for tell you the the battery life that is a brilliant idea you can keep track of how your batteries are and it's actually a good way to know if you had two batteries or if you have batteries that are the same color and you kind of mix match them and you've been using one longer than the other and you put them in there which I mean you want to keep two batteries with this you don't want to like use different batteries use the same ones you can tell like if one's going further like down quicker and one staying up you know you know that battery it's not the one that you married with that other one that's doing well it's a good way to tell if you have two batteries that are not, you know, if you if you had a battery for a longer time and one that's uh, a little bit newer and you've accidentally put them in there together, you can tell by doing that because it reads pretty accurately. These are these have been, these two that I have in here been married, so they stay really, cl you know, right there, pretty much the same. So I know these two batteries are supposed to be in here. They're married uh, together. I only use them with uh, this box, so. Another another uh, pro for this is that uh, the actual power works really good for the temperature. It doesn't have jewels, but the power when you set it, it actually works, and you can lock the resistance as well. And it's really you know really easy to navigate the device as well. I and mean, you just do one, two, three, and you can go through all the settings super easy, nothing crazy. Overall, the box it's uh, the box as a whole. It's a really nice box. I really recommend this box. Well manufactured, feels really good. Feels like as a uh, well constructed like it, it could take a beating I mean don't put it through a beating but it feels like if you drop it it won't won't be active or janky and stuff you know so they really put some good work into this uh, the people at Joy Tech uh, I really like I said I'm really impressed with this box and you know that's it for the pros and cons if I had to rate this box I would rate this box a 9.5 just because of the whole issue with the pin and the pin in your RDA it produces too much and it's too long you know that it will not sit flush it's kind of like a con, eh? To me, it is. I like to. It's my things to look flush and like nice and neat. And you know that issue, a little bit, a little issue right there, just gives to the 9.5, which is still perfect. Uh, besides that, that's the only thing that's an issue with the box. And besides that, everything else is perfect on it. I mean, it's a great, great box, and battery life is excellent, which is main, main thing for us vapers that use crazy builds or are vaping on this all day. They won't die out. I won't die out to, uh, on you, you know, to the middle of the day and stuff. So that was it for this review, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Also comment what you thought about the review, the box. If you have any further questions, if I miss anything, anything like that, let us know. This box is available for retail and wholesale as well. And still, again, we do not have our retail website up yet. I will announce it in YouTube once it's done, but it's still out uh, for wholesale. Really good price. So if there's any wholesalers or anybody that knows wholesalers that are watching this video, hey, Links are below, always uh, right there. We have the website, but the hyperlinks and stuff are in the description below. 
So check those out, guys. Thank you for watching. I want to thank uh, Vaping Lizards and Landmark Wholesales for having me here and doing this review. And until next time, vape safe.